Hey guys, John here with Terminal Goblin Games. Today we're going to be talking about an adventure, a dungeon adventure called Corpse of the Sky God. Now, uh, you see all this blur, don't be concerned. This isn't a lewd dungeon or anything like that. I'm just trying to keep players from spoiling themselves. If you're a player, then obviously please stop watching unless you want to be spoiled. And instead, tell your DM to come and subscribe and download this adventure. So before we hop into the actual, uh, actual adventure, what we're going to do is you're going to notice that my map looks a little bit different than usual. And the reason for that is because I followed a tutorial of a, uh, fr a friend of the channel, Cleric's Wear Ringmail. He has this really cool tutorial here on how to make how to make TSR nostalgic maps using GIMP. And I'm going to have this link down there in the description. And it's a uh, pretty it seems pretty intimidating. It looks pretty long, but in reality, like once you do it once, then making these dungeons takes almost the same amount of time as like drawing them uh, on paper or drawing them with a tablet, like I was doing. Uh, but yeah, go check out his blog, uh, subscribe to him on YouTube. He's actually doing a, uh, an actual play right now, which is pretty sick. Uh, he also does a lot of reviews of actual plays. So yeah, go put that in your, your RSS reader, uh, subscribe to his channel, and let's get back to the adventure. What this adventure is, we got the background here. Uh, deep under the mountains, years before recorded time, a colony of dwarves worshipped an unusual god of their kind, Akalum, the Sky God. For generations, everything was fine. The dwarves lived as the rest of their kin. That is, until one day, their priest began to give speeches about the Heaven's Gate and how they must be built in order to convene with their god. Ordered by holy duty, the craft dwarves began their work constructing the gate under the close supervision of the priest. The dwarves began to fade from known memory as they labored away upon their gate. I'm going to take my, uh, my amazing voice actor hat off here and uh, you know, start talking to you like a normal person. Uh, so yeah, that is the the background here. Uh, DM, you can see that this is suitable for uh, levels four to six. This is a this is a pretty rough dungeon. This is going to be a free dungeon, free to download and use. Got information on the town of Shatter Rock, which you will see. This was actually made using my uh, OSR settlement generator. Uh, link to that in the in the description. I'm I'm chilling hardcore today, boys. We got a background here, which I uh, I just performed <laughs> for you. We've got uh, the current day, which talks about, you know, Shatter Rock, it's a mining village, and kind of what's going on. Uh, you have four adventure hooks, so you could roll a d4, or you could, you know, simply choose one or make up one of your own. If, you know, if Shatter Rock, you can't find a place for it, or the Green Soul Mountains, you can put it anywhere you need. The only thing it really needs to be near a, well, I guess near a mine or near where some dwarves would live, depending on how uh, dwarves work in your setting. So you see, uh, this the inspiration for this. I always thought like those chalk outlines were cool. That uh, that makes me sound like a psychopath. <laughs> but I wanted to make a dungeon using a chalk outline. I remember I played a lot of GTA 3 as a kid, and I thought like the chalk outlines of people when they died was like uh, it was a little cool feature. Now you see here, this is this is fairly fairly large. We got 26 rooms and got some custom monsters. We got some uh, info here for for you DMs. We uh. I talk about what happens when if they if they're able to succeed in their quest to resurrect Caleb. You know, added the how to do a like a timer uh, if you want to like impose more than like a two week time period. Got a fancy uh, magic sensor of oily smoke, and uh, we got a bestiary here. We got the mushroom men, which uh, I've talked about in a Castle Black Falcon video, and we have some mushroom infected dwarves, including a shaman. Uh, this guy is, is pretty badass. He's a he cast spells as a level four magic user. And then we have some basic enemies, gargoyles, ghasts, and ghouls. Um, I included them here just because, you know, that way you don't have to open your basic fantasy book to reference them. And, uh, yeah, so this is going to come with a, uh, a player's map, which is unlabeled. Um, a DM's map, so you don't have to, like, look at this because this is actually kind of hard to see. Uh, the doors, I can't zoom way in here to see doors. And uh, you should be able to import this straight into uh, to Owlbear. Uh, it rolled 20 and some other virtual tabletops. You may have to do some extra stuff. I'm not I'm not really aware. Uh, but other than that, yeah, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Go subscribe to Cleric's World Ringmail, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.